Hi guys, it's Pat here. I'm on with Friday night's book haul. So it's just a nice sized book haul tonight. So I'll start with the bits and pieces that I grabbed from the bins. And so I grabbed this. It's just a blank music sheet book. So I think that'll be really cool. I like the size of it too. It's a smaller one. So I'll be able to fold these up and use them as pages, I reckon. And reuse the cardboard. I got a little bit of sheet music. Grab this one. This one. And a polka. Then there was this Rainforests of Australia. There were a couple of bookmarks that fell out of some of the books. Really nice ones today, a few of them. So I grabbed that one. And that one's gorgeous. So I don't really need to do much with them. I might just back, back that one. And this one, which I'll just cover over, actually, that's not even bookmark. Someone was using it as a bookmark. So that's just a tag, but that's a neat one to cover and make maybe even a little flip or something with. There's that shadow again. Must be coming from my camera. Very annoying me. Oh well. So this one is 1992 by the looks. So it's yeah, rain, all these rainforest pictures, which I think, oh, they're quite big. So filler pages folded or envelopes, I'm thinking with some of these. That'd be quite nice in your um, nature journals as envelopes. Too nice to throw out. It's a few little pictures too, like the owl there. Beautiful. The bird picture. It's very nice. And then I got two books just for the covers. So the first one is this Sherlock Holmes. I usually wouldn't grab Sherlock Holmes books, but I really do like the cover on this one. It's a lovely size for a journal as well. Nice wide spine. It's a bit chewed up at the base, so it needs a bit of fixing. And use the pages as well, and it's even got some illustrations. And then a Reader's Digest. I love the cover on that one. It's a little bit dirty, but it's not too bad. It's quite an old one too, maybe. Nineteen sixty-six. This one, so I have to go through and check out the illustrations, and the pages would be quite nice to use. was this adventure of the arts man's quest for beauty and beautiful book play in there nineteen sixty two so it's quite old look at that beautiful picture This looks really cool. The page is awesome. Great journaling card sizes.
Gonna have all the paper ones. Fussy cut all of those out. There was this the 12 days of Christmas. Two thousand and seven by the looks. It's got some sheet music. Love the Australiana theme too. So I can cut them out and use them in projects. Doesn't have to be Christmas based necessarily. This, I have no idea what it is. I just saw the cover on it and went, okay, I'll grab that because um, I can reuse that paper. It's very odd. <laughs> Different. I don't think I've got it up the right way. It has no title. Please return to David Keat. Maybe I should try ringing the number and see if he wants it. I'll say the number's a bit old. Uh, 1984. The Circumnavigations of Van Diemen's Land in 1815 by James Kelly and in 1824 by James Hobbs. Interesting. So, pages are a nice size. Have to use them, but I really like the cover. There was Shakespeare Man of the Theatre. I'll just try and move you down, and then you'll see more shadow. Yeah, it is the camera, isn't it? Yep. We should have sat around on the other side of the table, but oh well. Because I'm getting to it so late. 1977 this one is. I just thought it said Shakespeare so I thought it might have some cool stuff in it. It's got some vintage style pictures and illustrations. Now we're getting into some big books. There was this. Australian tree portraits. <laughs> I thought, how boring. <laughs> but it looks so nice and old. Beautiful page. I love it when the books have your little stickers as well that you can use for ephemera. Let's see what the cover's like. Just plain green. Fallen a bit, so it has to be pretty old. Nineteen fifty-six. This one. I love the big, even the big blank page is really cool. But doesn't that look eerie? So dark. And then it does have some illustrations which are really cool. So yes, it's full of these pictures that are just so eerie. Illustrations, so. so it's quite interesting. Oh, and that's an even bigger book. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to make a book this big. I just pulled the camera back a little bit. Why would you make a book this big? See if I can see me out. It's like huge. Yeah. Um, I mean, you might as well just give us the whole painting. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to turn the pages. It's Arthur Street and the Man and His Art. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I think these pages are going to be too big, which they are. So, 
There are some smaller pictures over, let me move it, over this side of the book there are a couple of smaller pictures, but <laughs> huge paintings. But I reckon envelopes. Feels quite nice, as long as it doesn't crack when I fold it. Might try for envelopes with the big ones. Yeah, it's just huge, stupid. Where are you meant to put that? What sort of bookcase can you fit this in? It's full of bits, that's for sure. So, you can always just, it's quite thick, so. I can almost use just the paper and fold it and use it um, like cover over and that as well for book covers and that sort of thing. Oh, and then I bought more books of course but you can probably understand when you see them. <sighs> Alright, start from the most boring to the least boring -ish. So first one I bought was Palgrave's Golden Treasury. It's not a bad cover either. Nineteen sixty-seven. So it's the golden treasury of the best songs and lyrics in the English language, with an introduction by Edward Hutton. Love that page. Just my colours. So it's a lot of poetry and stuff. illustrations look at that isn't that so cool I love the way the poems are written the size of them some of them sounded like they might be pretty cool to stick into some different themed journals I love the little purple um, illustrations and it's only two dollars so oh, everything's purple in it it was meant for me. I'm going to read all of these. And then I grabbed, because I see everyone making their Jane Austen journals, so it's the illustrated letters, Jane Austen, my dear Cassandra, selected and introduced by blah, blah, blah. But it has some great pictures. It looks quite new, uh, 1990, not as new as I thought. It's got some bits, yeah, it's got a whole heap of stuff that you can use for ephemera by the looks as well. It's a big and little pictures and a great size being the way the book's shaped to fold for your centre pages and filler pages. That's a beauty, that one. And then bird books. I've got two bird books. I've got Common Australian Birds. This is 19... It says 1969. Surely it's newer than that. Revised edition 1969. Oh, maybe not. Just want to check out the actual cover. It has these pages. So really good for fussy cutting. And the white background. And I don't have to figure which page I want because it's just got the pictures on the one side, which is always nice. Now 
then the last book I got was The World of Birds. Comprehensive Guide to General Ornithology. Isn't that cool? Beautiful pictures. Sixty-four, I think it says. Geez, they're in good condition. Bang that on. Look at that. It's the most beautiful book. Oh. Got the maps and the silhouettes they'll be cool to use for embellishments, those little silhouettes of the birds. Some ephemera. Oh, it's a map. I think that good stuff's near the front but this is really cool I mean you can make so much with your little maps and that as well it's a cool page with all the seabirds nice little size to cut out all of those use. Maybe flip outs, that sort of thing. Flip up, flip out. Someone bookmarked it with some paper. Gorgeous pages. And the eggs. And yeah, this was three dollars, so great price for what's in it. these things. <laughs> Weird looking. Feathers. So that's really cool. That would be the find of the day for me I think. And then uh, while well, I was out and about I had to go do shopping so I did go into Ned's. Uh, one of our local cheap stores here so I grabbed these stamps. It's alphabet stamps. But they have yeah, a couple of different styles there and a really nice little size of stamp with your numbers and your alphas. And then I checked out their um, napkins to see if they had any new ones and they had these lavender ones, which look really cool. Our citrus ones for the citrus journal that I might make one day. These ones. Oh, and these are cool Australiana ones. They'll go really well in some projects that I've got coming up soon. So that's it for my hauls today. Um, hope you're all doing well and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care. I apologise again for the silly camera shadow. Next time I'll try and sit around the other side of the table but at the moment it's full of stuff so <laughs> I'm just trying to get it done up in time. So have fun, be good, see you later.